and welcome and thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you all are staying safe and being at home. I know, it's terrible spending your summer holidays being stuck at home when you could be out playing with your friends, visiting your family members or even going for a summer vacation. But it's okay, let's look at the bright side. You get to spend time with your family. Your mama and daddy don't have to go to work. They can work from home so you get to spend time playing games with them which you couldn't earlier, right? So make more memories, read lots of books, listen to music, pursue a hobby and keep watching my stories. On that note, I want you all to head right to the subscribe button which is right under where you can see me. There is a red color S-U-P-S-C-R-I-B-E button in red color. Just go ahead and press that button and subscribe to the channel because we have introduced a whole range of English stories and Hindi stories and we also have tutorials on craft videos which teach you how to make the puppets that we use in our stories. So you don't want to miss any of that, right? So go ahead and subscribe and once you're done, Put a thumbs up in the comments so that I know you've already subscribed. And if you wish to say anything during today's session, you may put it down in the comments and be sure that I'm going to reply to each one of your comments like I always do. So time for the story. Today's story is a very special story because it is a STEM story. Now the S in STEM stands for science. So today, you will be learning a very important concept of science that you may study in school later or you may have already studied in school. But what do you do in school? You read from books and the teacher teaches you. But here, you don't need any books. That's the best part. All you do is listen to the story and be sure that you will never forget it. So let's not waste any more time and let's begin our story for today. So, my story for today goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a park. And in that park was a small little pond. And in that pond lived Tito the Tadpole. Tito the Tadpole would swim all day and play with his friends all day long. And just next to that pond was a really tall tree. And on that tree, there were really big branches, so big that they would almost touch the water. On that tree lived the most beautiful and colorful caterpillar named Kitty. Kitty would spend all day chomping on the sweet leaves of the tree. And one day she was just busy eating her leaves when she suddenly started sliding down one of the branches. Oh, oh dear, help, help, I'm falling. Oh, oh. And then she suddenly wound herself round the branch and... Oh, oh dear, I was just about to slip. When she opened her eyes, guess what? Tito the tadpole was staring at... Kitty the caterpillar. Wow, you are beautiful. Just like a beautiful rainbow. And Kitty said, You're beautiful too. Just like a shiny black pearl. I love the way you look. I love the way you look too. Promise me you will never change. I promise, I promise I will never change. And they both fell in love. Now just like the seasons change, Tito also could not keep his promise. He could not keep his promise of not changing. The next time when they met, Tito had grown two legs. And when Kitty saw him, she said, You broke your promise. You promised me you will never change. Oh, I apologized, Kitty. 
It's not my fault. I couldn't help it. I don't even want these legs. All I want is my pretty rainbow. Oh, all I want is my shiny black pearl. And Kitty decided to forgive Tito. And they became friends again. And they made a few more promises. But as sure as the seasons change, once again, Tito could not keep his promise. So the next time when they met, Tito had grown a pair of arms and his tail had shortened. And this time, when Kitty saw it, she was aghast. You broke your promise again. I can't believe it. But this time I won't forgive you. You broke my heart. Oh no, but you're my pretty rainbow. Yes, but you're not my shiny black pearl anymore. Goodbye. Saying that, Kitty went away. And she cried and cried and she cried for days on end. And she cried herself to sleep. She slept for a long, long time. By then, Tito had dropped his tail and he had turned into a full-fledged frog. Ribbit! Ribbit! And one fine day, Kitty decided to wake up. The trees around her had changed. The season had changed. The weather had changed, but what hadn't changed was her love for the tadpole. And so she decided to forgive him. She wanted to go out, ride to the pond, find her shiny black pearl and be friends again with him. And so she opened her eyes. When she looked around, she was stuck inside a small black cave. She struggled to get out, but somehow she felt different. She finally managed to get out of that black cave and she felt really wet. And when she turned around to look at herself, she had grown a pair of wings and turned into a beautiful butterfly. She flew, she flew to the pond and she fluttered on the pond for a little while looking for her shiny black pearl, but she just couldn't find it. Then she saw a strange green creature sitting on the lily pad. Ribbit! Ribbit! So she decided to go up to him and asked him where his shiny black pearl was. She flew to the green creature and she said, Excuse me, I am looking for my shiny black but before she could say pearl, the frog leapt up from the lily pad and swallowed the butterfly in one gulp. And that was the end of Tito and Kitty's love story. But Tito kept sitting there thinking fondly about his beautiful rainbow. Little did he know, that his beautiful rainbow had also broken her promise and turned into the butterfly, which he just swallowed for lunch. That brings us to the end of the story for today. But I do hope you realize that we were talking about the life cycle of the frog and the butterfly. How the frog transitioned from a tadpole to a full-blown frog and how the caterpillar changed into the butterfly. So neither the butterfly nor the frog could help themselves. That's their life cycle. I do hope you enjoyed the story because I loved telling it to you. Do leave your comments and tell us how you like the story and I will be back very, very soon with another one. Bye-bye.